it's trigger time. Now, yes, that is Tiga. My trigger vinyl is currently in my HLJ warehouse and I do not have it yet, but that's basically the same thing, right? I mean, his hyper key is in this box, so I'd say it's good enough. Hello Tokusatsu community and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today we have the next Ultraman video uh, because Ultraman toys are here because the new series Ultraman Trigger New Generation Tiga has just debuted in the last couple of weeks here and uh, yeah I bought the toys again so I wasn't going to buy the toys like I really wasn't because you know lightning collection is happening I'm currently going back to try to get all the ranger keys so I don't really have the money for this but I did want it and then I watched the first episode. Well, actually, I watched the first episode after I bought this. But, yeah, if you guys watched Geek Each Week the other week, my friends, they peer pressured me into doing it. Basically, I just was trying to get them to say yes, and they did. Because so. <laughs> he uh, wanted to get it and wanted us to convince him. It's it's yeah. aberrant. Oh, no, I hit the button. Yeah. Oh, button. Yeah, I don't need convincing if I really want something. Yeah. <laughs> Here's, yeah, he, he wants it, the, but he needs to pretend like he was being responsible. He about himself going, well, I was convinced to get them. This has a couple of things in here. This is going to mainly have the spark lens, but it's also going to have two other hyper keys, which we can actually already see right away. Yay! All right, so here is the stuff. So here is the spark lens. I just got the spark lens. I didn't get the like whole holster belt thing. It was never gonna fit me anyway, and it, you know, I don't really need it. Uh, but then I got two hyper keys. So this is the Tiga, nope, this is the trigger power type key. And then over here, here is the Tiga multi-type key. So and obviously the toy itself comes with trigger multi-type. Um, so I just recently watched episode two and I went ahead and purchased Dash upon set one off of Bai, uh, because it has like Savenger and stuff in it. So, yeah, so it's definitely got a little bent up, but here is a hyper key. It's a pretty good size. Uh, I know people were saying it's basically the size of a guy memory. It's, obviously, it's a little smaller than a guy memory, but it's kind of like an upside down guy memory, sort of. But yeah, it's a pretty good size. Here is the Tiga multi type key. So, yeah, that's a pretty good, strong haul to start out with. So here they are. So you have Tango right there, Ultraman Trigger. So this thing is pretty cool. It is now the second year in a row that I purchased a Ultraman transformation device. Last year I watched Zet and purchased my very first Ultraman Deluxe toy. And now I did it again. Ooh. Look at that. Also, the gimmick is keys, so that's how you knew it was definitely gonna get me. But it's a good size. I know people were saying that, but it really is. And then you open that up there. Yeah, I dig this. You have this little chamber down here for the keys. You can see there's like a little typical notch pad thing that a lot of Bandai gimmick items do. So, yeah, I mean, it, it feels good like in an adult-sized hand. It's pretty solid. So there's two different modes. So that's the whole transformation sound there. Arms. Now summoning his weapon, the circle arms. Arms. That's hyper key mode. So now this has like the most satisfying sound. Oh yeah, loading that up in there. You just kind of, I love that. So, all right, we'll go ahead and get some batteries into this thing here. 
All right, we got some batteries loaded up in here, so let's turn it on. So you have, of course, like a blaster mode. So like air is out because there's obviously no key and stuff in there. So let's go ahead and do it. So it said the toy itself said boost up and then the key said Zaperion, which is like Tiga and Trigger's kind of ability. So what's interesting is that the deluxe keys will say that part. So it'd be like the two toys together saying things, but the Candy Toy and Gashapon keys do not have electronics in them. So the toy will take over on those ones. It actually will still say like an effect and everything, uh, but it just will not uh, come from the actual key itself. So here we go. He's also making noise too. Very loud, very nice speaker. So that actually was the key that did all that, basically. Same sounds there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I definitely dig this. So that's the trigger multi-type key, but we have another multi-type key. This one is Ultraman Tigas. So that's pretty cool. So on this one, you get Tiga's transformation sound, then you get his like grunt noise or whatever, and then you get his color timer sound as well. So let's go ahead and test it out in the spark lens. Oh, that's his finisher attack sound, duh. I really like that you get the sounds of Chiga. That's really cool. And you're gonna get that in pretty much all of the Ultras, which that's just really, really cool. But we also have another trigger form here. So now let's do that one.
Well, that's definitely coming from the key itself. And yeah, that is the first batch of Trigger toys. All right, so that's going to do it for my little unboxing here of the Trigger stuff. So this is pretty cool. I, uh, I don't know how crazy I'm going to go with the Hyper Keys just yet. Obviously, now that I bought the toy, I do kind of want them all. But uh, at least I bought Gashapon set one. So there's also going to be plenty more coming out. I know for sure I'm going to be getting the Trigger Sky Type Key. I've got to get his, you know, base forms at least. I'm also definitely going to get the Zet Key because that's, you know, like kind of the first series that I watched. And if they do a Jeed Key, I'm definitely going to get that too. I love Jeed as well. And uh, yeah, now obviously... Tiga is a big influence on this series. You get multi-type here in the retail line. There is a key for Tiga's version of power type and sky type and even glitter Tiga, but those three are together in a premium Bandai set because they have already started that stuff for Trigger. But uh, yeah, so I will probably do a video on Gashapon set one and really, I guess maybe any other hyper keys I get. Maybe I'll do them kind of in groups together you know, once I get a bunch or something and maybe not like a single key of video because there's just not a lot to go, you know, on about them with that. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I like doing Ultraman videos. I'm still relatively kind of new to the franchise and I uh, like to hear people's inputs on the videos. Do you, are you watching Trigger? You can watch it up on their Super Eye YouTube channel up for up to two weeks after the episode airs. So that's pretty cool. Uh, did you get this? Uh, do you like Tiga a lot? That's a series that I definitely need to watch. I just haven't been able to get around to that just yet. But it is getting a Mill Creek DVD release. So that actually, maybe that will be finally how I watch it. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. I'll see you all next time. And uh, until then, you can follow me on Twitter at Living Ranger Key or at Lightning Fig PR. Ultraman Turniger!